Welcome down to another episode of the Best Off. Today, we're at the Kingdom of Fife. We're right on the tip. We are at Crail Golfing Society. The par 69, I've started off with this beautiful par four, popped it down there near this beautiful boat house, made a par, then happy days, I'm on the second hole now. Look at this. This is the last four holes of the course. You've got to walk round there, and wow, it hits you again. We're going to do six holes for you. And when I tell you the price of this, you're going to drop dead. You'll not believe it. This, well, hopefully you don't drop dead, but I'm telling you, I'll be happy with two over gross. I'm Liam Harrison. I'm an eight handicapper. cupper. Enjoy Crail Golf Society. How good does this place look? Like I've said it already, par five, wind right to left. Tiger line for try and get on in two. We're gonna try it. 500 yard, par five, stroke five, but we're doing gross for six holes. See if Uncle Liam can do two over from the big boy tees. Have a bit of that, Scotland. Oh. As I say, and Razzie Nesbitt, see you, Jimmy. Today is going to be one of the favourite days ever because I just know you watching this will know me, and this is what I love about Lynx Golf, being under the sea, right next to the sea. That's a boat house, that great feature, isn't it? This B-roll clip here, I had to chip over it. Great shot, wasn't it? Right, 240 over that post. Having the John McGinley. Wind right to left, but I think the canvas pushes you to the beach, so you don't want to be too far right. Could hit a seven iron, really, but I've decided to hit this. Oh, look at the wind bringing it in. Oh, that'll be a little flick, that. A little bit low, that. Scottish heritage, you see, from the Liam Harrison clan. Irish, really, but I like Scotland. Right, Crail Golfing Society formed in 1786 at the Crail Golf Inn by 11 local gentlemen. How cool is that? Right, only they played a chip and run. I'm feeling it, but I've changed my mind. I'm going to stick to what I know. Just because it canvas this way, I'm going to try and float it all the way. The wind's right to left. So I've got 60 odd yards, little gap wedge. Get on, I get another par. Well, it's first, first par for the match for you gentlemen and ladies. Or a birdie, or a birdie. You know what a shabba. You know this is this is me, isn't it? It's just me. Throw it along, links, sea, and the current bun, sun. But we are in April. It's not that warm. Unreal, isn't it? Balcomi links. There's actually two courses here. One day we might get to play the other. And I am going to say it. Old Tom Morris had a little hand into this course. Right, birdie putt. Hello. Oh, that's how I like my pars, tap in. But for the gimme police, I'm gonna mark it, spot it, put it down and take my time. Doing that for you. Flag in for this one. That says it all, that, doesn't it? Says it all. Look at this. Do you know what? I've marked down what I want to show you. And I could show you loads and loads. Next hole, par three. Stay left, kicks to the sea. I, I wish I could do an 18 hole vlog. That would be great, but, you know. Right, what a hole I've brought you to here. This is a par four. Cut the corner. 340 yard called Fluke Dub. Uh, I'm having it because the wind's this way. It's stroke nine, no shot, but either way, it's not bothered. Facilities here at Crail. Bang on. Short game, short game area. Driving range, perfect. I tell you what, I don't know how much to chew, you know what I mean? I'm slim, so I'm not going to cut loads off. Let's see. What would you do? Hey, I've not told you the price yet. Today in April. Chicken out, but it's a long, it might be on that other green, that. No, it's not that far. Do you know what? 
give me links, give me that, give me a bargain. Anywhere better? Comment below, is there anywhere better, condition-wise, views than this? 86 pounds to play here in April. Like I said, if you wait till May, you get your little bounty bag. Enjoy that one on the... Give it nine holes and that'll be gone. <laughs> Thank you very much, Ben. No problem. Thanks for all the hospitality. Can't wait to get started. And I tell you what, it's 135 and well worth it, in my opinion. Right, I've got 40 yards. It's actually bomb that. Could have been a bit more naughty, but I'm happy here. But without pinnies, it's going to be hard to get to it because if I go short, it could kick right or kick left. It's on like a knuckle. I might not pick it up on the camera, so I'm going to go with gap wedge again. A middle at green will do, to be fair. But we'll have a go. I'm not seeing a Scottish runner yet. Well, I never. I thought that was seriously going to be a great shot. Proves what I know. Not a lot, but judging by this video, you're working that out already. I'm not going to wipe the smile off my face, so... I'm going to say something to you, right? Why come here? This is a destination, your bucket list for a decent price by a mile, but I'm going to say something. If you've never played the old course, I understand, go and play St Andrews. But if you've played the old course once, you'd probably come up back here and play it more. So if I had a choice, old course or here, I'm going to upset a lot of people. I'd play here every day of the week. It's a fact that. Comments are going to get me on that. From a great drive to that, so I'm a bit disappointed, but I'm trying to show you the course. But Scottish roots are coming out from the Harrison McClan now. We're going to go on a wee bump and run. Just a little wee bump and run. I will nearly, nearly. Lost for words. I know what you're thinking, you highly doubt that, but I were nearly lost for words. Shabba. Another par. But I might have the words wrong, but I think the next door is called the Hell Hole. Short one. Wait till you see this one. Needs proper good bang. See you, Jimmy. Scottish Drive. But I'm here to play, Jimmy. Right, great up and down. This is Hell's Hole. It's downwind. I'm hoping for go with these people. I'll just let them through while we did the drone. Just left or straight on them three pegs, as you can see down there. I think that's the line. It needs 240, but I think because it's windy, it'll only need about 220. Or a little bit left to that will be good. Needs a good one. What are you thinking of Crayola? What are you thinking of them words I said? Better course to play than St Andrews. I think it is, personally. I do. I really do. Come on, baby, light my fire. Come on. What a day I'm having here at Crail. Oh, I've levered that. It's a bit left where I said, but it's fine. God, has that gone too big? That drive's turned out bang on. I've got 170. I'm feeling like a time I'll get there, even if it's a tad short, it'll bounce. But I'm, part of me feels like I don't need to hit it really well. What a hole. Hell's hole. All right, it's on it. We've got that bounce we're asking for. Is it short on me on the green? I can't see. Is it on the green? Oh, it's on the dance floor. Hey, that's my highland. Hey! <laughs> love Scotland, love it here. Loving this series, the best off. Where am I next week? Five yards short, it would have bounced on, but I'll take that all day. Can I get a two put and make stroke one yield from the Harrison clan? I think I've got it on a good day though with that wind. Right, for birdie. But I'll take a two put. Hell's hole, I'm coming at you. Oh, I'm happy with that. That is great pace. If that were on target, it's only like a couple of foot past. I'll have a bit of that. Right. Good drive. Good first putt. Great iron shot. Not in all, any order, but that's what I did. 
Boom, yes. Feeling this now, feeling this. Great old necks, we've had it up on the drone, beautiful, we've got like a wall next to it, just like you're hitting a driver into the ocean. I feel like singing like Billy Ocean, it's, uh, come on, you're just going to love this all. Look at that for an all, how good is that? Right, bit of info for you, Crail, with a competition called the Lindsay Medal, it's older than the Open. Rootman has it, it's one of the first competitions ever to be held in golf. Oh, if Carlsberg did pub quizzes, it'll be in there, right. Marker post, isn't it? Grip it and rip it. What a hole. Probably play about 400 yards, this. I mean, that is on the marker. It's going to hit it. Is it the beans on toast? Wow. Oh, that's bounding down there. You should come here. This is what happens. And I'm going to call another thing. If, if you're playing bad, you've got these views. So it's always fun to be happy. Next one for you. This is why I believe this is one of the best courses I've played in the British Isles. It's gonna be in my top 10. This is why. Now you see why? I bet you do. Come on. All right, 108 yards. Wind in, but it's downhill. I'm going to wedge. I think if we can get it running, it could be the shot. Come on. Great drive, that. I just think it, the wind were into me when it ran all the way down there. So this is why I like this course. It's not going to beat you up some days. Some days you're going to have so much fun here. It's, it's good. It's, it's just... Golf's about being happy, and you can tell I'm happy. Come on. That's going to be short, that. Wow. Do you know what? I'm really happy with that. I misjudged that. Oh, well. I'll say chip and putt, but that'll be having the Texas wedge from Scotland. God, I was happy with that. I thought that were great. Either way, look at the views. 108 at wind. If I caddy with me, which they have caddies here, probably would have said, Bunt an eight iron or a nine iron. If we all knew a caddy, I was nine iron full all day long. Right, I've got a horrible one. I think I'm going to have to come up here and let it go down. Playing really good golf. I don't want to... Uh, don't want to come off of a bogey you now. Look that inside, actually, that. Oh, this is beautiful. Wow, that's gone about four foot past. I tell you what, I've said it before, I'll say it again. I am not normally lost for words. Zippy. <laughs> not a chance, open it up. Ooh, come on, let's get a par. Oh, look at this, look at this, how far it's gone past. A 48, an absolute dead weight then. Okay, okay. Putting good, I've not missed any of these. This is a little six footer. Let's take our time. Oh, right, it's here. Just goes quite down hilly, and you're not, not too sure if you're going to get that on camera. So that should be uphill, right to left. Firm aggression. Yeah, firm aggression. I'm in Scotland, let's hit it firm. See that? That was a five footer. Nasty Scotsman when he's angry. Gordon Strachan. Ex Aberdeen, Man United, Leeds United, and Scotland. That'll for you, Strackle. Come on! Is that as good of a par three for a view you'll ever see? Sleepers on the bunker, boat house. Have you hit it 120? I'm in the bunker. Have you hit it 180? I'm in the boat house. Anyway, 135 to 155, I'm on the pin. Pitching wedge, because it's downhill. Winds this way now, and it's dying. I might even take this off. Right, come on. Playing well. Took a bit off it. Middle of green, I think. Oh. It is now. Hey, that could have had the full shebang. For that, what I'm going to do, remember when they started, it was that wee dram. King's Barn Balcony Whiskey. This is for you. Oh, 
nice. I normally have a little dram when I've had a birdie. But a par I'll have one. Right, you can't see this, but this is viciously uphill and then down. Right, we're staying at this beautiful, beautiful Balcomi Links Hotel. That is what you call a beautiful building. And we were there last night, it was a fantastic night. Cameraman was snoring, but still, this will be a good two put this. Come on, don't spoil it, it's gonna be slow up this hill. Is that too much or is that perfect? Go on, sit. Let's <laughs> go, cool. what a day, what a day. Boom! Right, the man from Del Monte has asked me to leave the flag in for you. Tell you what, only a couple of holes left now and it's uh, a part of every hole. Must have been that weed ram. I'm having another, I'll tell you now, that was a lovely, lovely whiskey. So that's what I was trying to say about the green, the undulations. Looks flat, but it's not. What a bunker. You don't want to be in there, do you? Right, while making your way from the 14th green to the 15th tee, you come past this heritage site cave by King Constantine the second. He passed away in a battle with the Danish. The Danish won. And that's why I do believe in Scotland you have Carlsberg because the Danish won the battle. Believe that, you believe anything. What a walk that were round there. Right, 280, par four. This should be fun. Right is safe. And if that goes, that could be on the green, that. What a shot that is. That's probably left of the green. I don't know what Luke, look at the drone, look at Joe, don't know where Luke, I tell you what, I'm having some more of that whiskey, it's doing me grand. What a drive that were. I aimed a little bit left because there were a lad creeping on my fairway and I thought, well, I'll just be safe than sorry. If not, I'd be aimed at the pin, not one for blank, I'll blow my own trumpet. I do believe it would have been a hole in one on a par four. But this is what I say, it's not a super long goal, it's, it's just fun for everyone, right. I've got my gap wedge. I'm going to try and get it front of the green and let it release. That's the plan. And I've drunk all the whiskey. If you want to know, it's all gone. Have I said it and done it? Have I said it and done it? Oh, please. 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 When I walk up here, I want that closer than it looks. It's looking good by now. I'm level par. This could go one under. This is turning out a great day. This is what golf's all about. You watching, friends, golf mates, we joy. Snored last night, it don't matter. Birdie putt on Crail. I'm telling you, I'm going to, I'm going to say something what's going to throw people off. Visually, this is one of the best courses I've played. Course can, it's got a defensive with greens being sloppy and bunkers, but you can play here if you know what I mean, it's playable. It's not going to kick you in the teeth. This is a, in the top 10 of courses I've played for all round package. And like I said, even in the clubhouse, it looks mint from the outside. It just makes you want to go and play. And there's another course here. Right. Wish I didn't have the hot whiskey, to be honest. My knees are trembling. Firm aggression. Boom, 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 ding! Jaws me a whiskey now for a birdie. That's the, if I have a bogey, I'll get him one. If I have a birdie, he gets me one. Yes! Right, I know what you're thinking. I made a birdie, one under par. This is Fantasy Dolby. And I did say in the intro, six holes, but I chucked an extra roll in, that one, because it was beautiful. So we're playing seven holes, because I like it. Shoot me. Right, golf mates, I'm just playing this all because I'm catching people up. Par three, beautiful, but I've seen this over here. And if you can give us a like, and I can win the lottery, I want to buy this house. Now you come and tell me, would you like to live there? A fisherman's cottage on the bay. How cool would that be? You would get sleep at night just listening to the waves. Or it could have another effect. You could be going to the toilet quite a lot. Right, last all. Coming to an end, I'm buzzing. Are you ready for this? If you have watched till the end, comment below. I want to come to Crail because they're giving away a four ball. So make sure you comment below. Wow, 450 yards. 
par four, stroke four. Wind helping a little bit. This needs the proper one and it's gonna get it. It's gonna get it. I'm feeling it. I'm, I'm gonna give it the see you Jimmy now. It keeps swinging slow, but I'm gonna try and give it a whack. If that makes sense to you. That is the worst drive of the day. Blocked it high right, but on one under. My target was two over. We get a ball gear, doesn't matter. But Scottish magic up and down. Come on. I'm going to be honest, sometimes in golf, you've got to quit while you're ahead. My drive's gone there, terrible, and rolled down here, nearly on the green. My drive's gone about 193 yards. I've got 240 odd yards left. Come on, Woodo. Is it the right thing to do? Forget a five? I don't know. But you know what? I'm having a goal. It's been one of them days. I think it's a little, it should go a little bit left to right. Come on, Wind. Come on, Wind. It's coming. Now there's a chance this is on the green. Oh, what a kick. It's on the green. Zoom in, Joe. That is about five or ten foot short of the green. Sometimes you've got to take the shot on. Lay up with a driver and hit a free one as best you can. <laughs> the Scottish is coming out of me. I want a par. Put it down, left up the hill, and then right to the pin. That's what we're going for. Come on. Light my fire. It's got the juice. I'm liking this. What is going on? I think I've made it. I think, you know, when I'm happy and relaxed, I enjoy myself, you can just see my teeth. I'm putting that, I'm not even gonna give it. What a free wood after that terrible drive. What a day I've had, what a day. I'll make a bold claim. I'll be back here sooner than you think, just, just for play it. That's how much I've enjoyed myself. Fun golf with the best views ever, right. Liam Marison to finish, seven holes, not six, one under gross. Oh, wow. Wow. I tell you what, I hope you're smashing that like button and giving me a load of love. Crail, thank you very much.